Hi guys, today we are going to be correcting a bad paint out a video made by someone called the top man 2.0 Scientific studies indicate that Tyrannosaurus Rex may not actually have been the tyrant king of prehistoric animals I mean, how do I prehistoric animals were definitely dinosaurs uh, the, the, the dinosaur, the, the, the carnivorous dinosaur with the most chance of killing armor, uh, herbivore dinosaurs. Also, what you're not, you're not showing a T-Rex head, you're showing a Scorpio Venator, Venator from prehistoric, no, 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 a prehistoric, planet dinosaur. Despite being a gigantic and really aggressive carnivore, it, it's not a bloodthirsty monster, it's a normal animal. dinosaurs as ferocious and even having to fight with others on its own species to survive in such a hostile environment what enemies did tyrannosaurus rex have thanks to current science and technology paleontologists have been able to elucidate some of the great mysteries of the most lethal saurian of the it's not pale paleontologist it's paleontologist it had a privileged view, like that of an eagle, which allowed it to see its prey miles away, stalking silently. Its nose had a range of 8 kilometers of perception, and its teeth, sharp as chisels and up to 30 centimeters long. Well, they were made for crushing bone, so yeah. Turned its bite into an absolutely lethal biological weapon. This prehistoric killer... With all its impressive character, this again is a normal animal. It only kills when it needs to. Was without a doubt the predator that dominated the land at the end of the Cretaceous period, approximately 66 million years ago. However, there is forensic evidence that shows that the Tyrannosaurus Rex could become prey to other creatures. Or at it's cool. the only thing to become prey to is another T-Rex. Nothing else will make it prey to. Like. At least have had the need to defend themselves with all their might from the attacks of other predators. This is Majangasaur from Jurassic Fly Fight Club. So, what enemies did it have? Who was able to hunt to the maximum hunter of the Cretaceous? Well, Definitely the fact that the Tyrannosaurus rex is one of the last terrestrial species that existed before the mass extinction of the Cretaceous tertiary allowed us to conclude that it could have had other Tyrannosaurus rex as enemy. Yep. Fossil, ev yep. Fossil evidence literally says so. Like on specimens like Victoria and Tristan, there are like, bite marks on them. Several other specimens have little proof of like uh, bite marks of T-Rex, like giant bite marks. There was no other large predator that lived with T-Rex except for, well, T-Rex. And is that perhaps to defend their territory? This is dust fleet of the from planet dinosaur. Yeah, no, I think this was made a few times a uh, year ago. So yeah, I think he didn't have a lot of uh, footage, so yeah. Being the tyrant king of the Cretaceous period, the T-Rex may have had enemies as dinosaurs of their own species, equally in need to feed their heavy bodies. Both aggressive, carnivorous, and eager to dominate. It could have faced multiple times and become real enemies, especially knowing that they remained in packs of the same family. And uh, it's not called packs. No, no dinosaur would hunt in packs. The only thing that's close to hunting and packs is, well, mobs or gangs or loose gangs. It's basically pack hunting, but unorganized. That's basically what mobbing is. Plus, T-Rex has only been found in small, like, family groups, like maybe, like, Stan and maybe uh, Sue. And it was a species that had no fear of its largest prey, mm -hmm. the Triceratops. That yes, Triceratops was, well, Tyrannosaurus prey most of the time. ...to its second proven enemy, 
the Triceratops. Its name comes from the Greek tri, which means three, the Ceres, which means horns, and tops, that means face. Since its three horns were its most peculiar feature, they were stout and walked on their four legs and lived with the T-Rex. In fact, there is some paleontological evidence that indicates that Triceratops knew how to defend itself very well from the Tyrannosaurus, and it's possible that they fought on many occasions to finally end up extinguishing themselves. Although, yeah, that is, I mean, what you're showing here is Tarbosaurus and a Taurosaurus. But yes, the uh, T-Rex did fight with Taurosaurus as well as a specimen of Taurosaurus named Nicole that has allegedly healed the T-Rex bite marks. But the real threat that a Tyrannosaurus might have had is perhaps this next species, the Nanotyrannus. What? There's no way that something like a Nanotyrannus would pose any threat to something as big as a T-Rex. Plus, Nanotyrannus is invalid and is now considered a juvenile T-Rex. It is believed that the Nanotyrannus was a small version of the T-Rex, that it fed on small Tyrannosaurs. Uh, no. It's basically juvenile T-Rex, meaning it is a small T-Rex, but also a juvenile T-Rex. Which was a real threat to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was known as the diminutive Tyrannosaurus, and it measured about 5 meters long. But despite being classified as a new species, some studies seem to indicate that instead of a different species, it was actually a young Tyrannosaurus. It's because it's, it is. Yeah, like unlike the Jaguna study on saying that Taurosaurus was actually a full grown Triceratops, this evidence proves it even more. Like the bones are now fused and all that. That means that this is basically a June version of T Rex. It's not a separate species. It's not a new species. It's basically a June T Rex. So, so that's all for today's video. It's not that bad, but still a few mistakes. So bye bye.